my dear students welcome back to our channel students in this video i am explaining telangana intermediate second year subject botany part a very short questions to marks let's start quick revision first important question is 1 explain the terms phenotype and genotype Genotype refers to the genetic makeup of an organism or the combination of genes it inherits. For example, having genes for blue eyes. Phenotype is the physical expression of those genes, like the actual blue eyes you can see. Example, if someone has the genotype for brown eyes, genotype, their phenotype could be brown eyes based on how their genes express. Next important question is 2 why does swiss cheese have big holes name the bacteria responsible for it swiss cheese has big holes because of gas bubbles produced by bacteria during the cheese making process as the bacteria break down sugars in the milk they release gases like carbon dioxide which form bubbles these bubbles create the holes The bacteria responsible are Propionibacterium frudenrici. Example: Think of the bubbles in a soda. Similar bubbles form in Swiss cheese, making those big holes. Next important question is: Three. Define hydroponics. Hydroponics is a method of growing plants without soil. Instead, plants grow in a nutrient-rich water solution. the roots absorb water and nutrients directly example growing tomatoes in a container filled with water and nutrients instead of soil is hydroponics it allows plants to grow faster and can be done indoors or in areas with poor soil next important question is for what is green revolution who is regarded as father of green revolution The green revolution refers to the period when new farming methods including better seeds, fertilizers and irrigation were introduced to increase food production. This helped many countries especially India grow more crops and reduce hunger. Example, the use of high yielding variety seeds of wheat helped farmers grow more food. Father of the green revolution Dr Norman Borlaug is regarded as the father of the green revolution for his work in developing high yielding crops. Next important question is 5 what are the components of a nucleotide? A nucleotide is made up of three parts. One a sugar like deoxyribose in DNA or ribose in RNA. Two a phosphate group. Three a nitrogenous base such as adenine thymine cytosine or guanine example in dna a nucleotide might be adenine base sugar deoxyribose and phosphate these combine to form the building blocks of dna next important question is six name the scientists who were credited for showing the role of penicillin as an antibiotic Alexander Fleming is credited with discovering penicillin's antibiotic role in 1928. He noticed that a mold called penicillium killed bacteria around it. Later, Howard Florey and Ernst Boris Chain helped develop penicillin for medical use. Example, Fleming's discovery showed that penicillin could fight infections like wounds getting infected with bacteria. Next important question is 7 what is the difference between exons and introns exons are parts of a gene that contain the information to make proteins they are expressed and used in the final product introns are non coding sections that do not make proteins and are removed during processing example in a gene exons are like the important chapters in a book while introns are like blank pages that don't contribute to the story next important question is 8 what is jack and what are its objectives jack genetic engineering appraisal committee 
is an Indian government body that regulates the use of genetically modified organisms, GMOs, in the country. Objectives To evaluate the safety of GMOs for the environment and human health. To ensure safe use of GMOs in agriculture and industry. Example, Jack reviews if genetically modified crops, like Bt cotton, are safe before they are allowed for commercial use. Next important question is 9. What are pleomorphic bacteria? Give an example. Pleomorphic bacteria are bacteria that can change their shape or size depending on their environment. They don't have a fixed shape. Example, Mycoplasma is a pleomorphic bacterium. It can appear as round, oval, or even spiral shapes based on conditions like the availability of nutrients. Next important question is 10. Name the nematode that infects the roots of tobacco plants. Name the strategy adopted to prevent this infestation. The nematode that infects the roots of tobacco plants is called melodogene, root not nematode. To prevent this infestation, farmers use crop rotation, growing different crops each season, or plant-resistant varieties of tobacco. Another strategy is using nematicides, chemicals that kill the nematodes. Example, rotating tobacco with crops like corn can reduce the nematode population in the soil. Next important question is 11. Define stop cadon. Write the cadence. A stop codon is a sequence of three nucleotides in mRNA that signals the end of protein synthesis. When the ribosome reaches this codon, it stops translating the genetic code into a protein. The three stop codons are 1. UA 2. UAG 3. UGA Example, when the ribosome encounters any of these stop codons, it knows to stop making the protein. Next important question is 12. What are porins? What role do they play in diffusion? Porins are proteins found in the outer membrane of cells, like bacteria, that form channels or pores. These channels allow small molecules, and ions to pass through the membrane. In diffusion, porins help molecules move from an area of higher concentration to lower concentration without using energy. Example, in bacteria, porins allow water, nutrients, and waste to pass in and out of the cell, helping the cell survive. Next important question is, 13. What are fermenters? Fermenters are large containers used to grow microorganisms, like bacteria or yeast, under controlled conditions for fermentation processes. They provide the right environment for these organisms to produce products like alcohol, enzymes, or antibiotics. Example, in brewing, yeast is placed in a fermenter with sugar to produce beer. The fermenter controls temperature, pH, and oxygen levels to ensure the yeast ferments the sugar into alcohol. Next important question is 14. What is point mutation? Give an example. A point mutation is a change in a single nucleotide in the DNA sequence. This small change can affect the protein that is produced. Example, in sickle cell anemia, a point mutation changes one nucleotide in the hemoglobin gene. This causes the protein to form abnormally, leading to sickle-shaped red blood cells instead of round ones. Next important question is 15. Who proposed the chromosome theory of inheritance? The chromosome theory of inheritance was proposed by Walter Sutton and Theodore Boveri in the early 1900s. They suggested that genes are located on chromosomes and that these chromosomes are passed from parents to offspring during reproduction. Example, just like how we inherit eye color from our parents, Sutton and Boveri explained that chromosomes carry the information for traits like eye color and these are inherited together. 
Next important question is 16. What is the shape of T4 phage? What is its genetic material? The T4 phage has an icosahedral, a shape with 20 triangular faces, head and a long tail structure. Its genetic material is DNA. Example, T4 phages are viruses that infect bacteria. The DNA inside the head of the T4 phage carries instructions to make more viruses once it infects a bacterial cell. Next important question is 17. Name a microbe used for statin production. How do statins lower blood cholesterol level? A microbe used for statin production is Aspergillus terius, a fungus. Statins lower blood cholesterol by blocking an enzyme called HMG-CoA reductase, which helps produce cholesterol in the liver. When this enzyme is blocked, the liver produces less cholesterol, reducing the overall cholesterol levels in the blood. Example, taking statins can help lower harmful LDL cholesterol, reducing the risk of heart disease. I hope you understand easily each question. All the best students for your upcoming exam. For other subject quick revision. Important questions. Previous question papers. And syllabus. Links are available in description. Check out once. Thank you for watching. Like and share this video with your friends.